Hey, well, Valerie Riley is bringing us organizational tips and ideas. She brings them every time she comes, but this time it's how to pack for a vacation. Yes. Welcome back. It's vacation time. Yeah. Everybody's going on vacation. All of our clients are asking us, help us pack for vacation. I so, wish I would have talked to you before yeah. I left because I our know. car was an absolute mess <laughs> when we got back. It's hard to. I, yeah. It is, and we always overpack. I think people just think you're going to need more than you ever do. Yeah. And then every time you get there, you're like, I didn't wear half of the stuff I brought. Yeah. yeah. So you're we're trying right. to help our clients prevent that problem. So okay. what are some of the steps that we need to do? What, what is one thing that, uh, that you always tell people? Um, one thing I tell women especially is stick with a single color combo. Like don't try to bring every color in your closet so you don't have to accessorize for every color. Pick a black, stay with black, and then use alternate colors to kind of make that pop. And then you don't have to bring brown, black, tan shoes. You just bring black shoes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that makes it easier. Is it okay. okay to wear something two days on vacation? I think so. I, okay, see, there you go. She says it's okay <laughs> to, to she, double she it up. Two. Yeah, no more. <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> well, Four, it depends two? on what part that you're wearing two days in okay, a row. Okay, okay. Outer clothes, yes, probably so. Yeah, yeah see, you there you go. For, you know, oh, yeah, times. you can for sure wear jeans. And I mean, it depends. If you're going to the beach, you're probably going to be in bathing suits anyway, mm -hmm. so cover ups you can wear multiple days in a row. Um, they make tons of wrinkle free items now that you can roll up in your suitcase to save space. You can also use those vacuum bags where you suck the air out. It makes the I mean, it goes like this tiny from a pat, you know, yeah. size like this. So makes a big difference, especially when you're paying to check in your bag. Right, exactly. And this yeah. way you can almost get it all in a carry-on. You don't have to check a bag. Ooh, I like that. Oh, yeah. That's great. How about um, things like jewelry and stuff like that, stuff that might kind of jumble around in your bag? Right. I use just regular sandwich bags and put necklaces in individual sandwich bags. That way they don't get jumbled up. Same with earrings or rings. Whatever you don't want to get tangled, just put in individual sandwich bags. Okay. And here's something we ran into, going to a place that sometimes it's cold at night, mm -hmm. but, you know, it's warm during the day. How do you pack for both? Where, where you're trying to, especially warm weather clothes or things that are going to keep you warm, they take up a lot of space. They do. And so I think you just bring a couple of things. That goes back to wearing something more than once. For women, bring cardigans. For guys, just bring like a sweatshirt that you can zip up. That way you can throw it on at night, but it's easy. It doesn't wrinkle. So mm -hmm. it's easy to put in your bag that way. Okay. Okay, perfect. What else, um, as far as you know, maybe going to like a, a place for you? Maybe you don't expect the weather to be just what you're thinking or something like that. Are there things that we should always pack? Like, do you always pack a raincoat? Do you always pack hats? I don't always pack those things. I would say check ahead. I would check mm -hmm. the weather for sure the day before you leave to make sure if it's going to change, you're ready for it. But I always bring a cardigan with me. I always bring a couple pairs of socks and tennis shoes. That okay. way, if it is cold, you have kind of an alternate thing you can wear. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah, there's nothing worse than not having tennis shoes when you yeah, get them true. on a trip. Right. So what are or some of the other underwear. big tips that you try to give everybody when they're packing? Um, I think if you don't decide to take a carry-on bag and you want to check a bag, I think in your carry-on you should always have all your medicines with you, any extra toiletries just in case your bag gets lost. Um, underwear, you should have a couple pairs in there just in yeah. case because if your bag gets lost, there's nothing worse than being stuck without that stuff. Yeah. So I just say pack the essentials in your carry-on and that way you're never stuck without what you need. That's a good idea because yeah. you don't think your bag's going to get lost, but it happens yeah. it a happen lot. It's happened to me like three or four times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. But again, you're the most organized person I know, so I'm sure you were just <laughs> fine. <laughs> yes, I was fine, but I still panicked. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So. Well, where can people find more information about you and what you do? Um, we have a website. It's the RileyGroup.info. Okay, perfect. Check it out. Yeah. I need you to help me pack for my honeymoon. <laughs> oh, yeah, fun. All right, thanks, Valerie. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Well, coming up here next, time to head on a cruise with Oklahoma River Cruises. We'll tell you all about it next.